Okay, hello again. Um, here's how to make an electric quiz board. Um, for the board, uh, we could use thick cardboard. Um, I'm going to use um, an A4 sized piece of 4mm Corex and I've made sure that the flutes are running lengthwise. That's going to help me to mark out the positions of the terminals of the quiz board um, and make a neat job of it. So uh, let's clear some space first of all here. And I like to make a, a neat job of marking out the, the quiz board. First of all, I'm going to find the uh, centre line, which is around about there. And then we draw a line six centimetres from the top. This is to leave a space behind the quiz board for the batteries and the uh, buzzer. And then um, from the centre line we measure out I think about um, three centimetres on one side and three centimetres on the other side. And then working our way down the flute here, um, I think I'm going to have um, eight questions and answers. You can obviously decide how many you're going to have. So I think we'll have a three centimetre spacing, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I've left plenty of space on each side for the questions, for the questions and answers. Next, um, we're going to um, push paper fasteners through here. Um, and to make it easier to push the paper fastener through, I'm going to uh, punch some holes through with a small screwdriver. Um, and to do this safely, I'm going to use a sponge block. And I'm going to push the screwdriver uh, in line with the flutes. It's fairly easy to push the screwdriver through. I've made this with um, these with year five and six. In one screw, it was a very nice idea. I made uh, we made a class of thirty, made thirty quiz boards, and they come up with ideas for questions and answers and the set of quiz boards were used throughout the school. There we go. Pushing out the 16 holes. And the last one. Okay. So now we can, it's easy to fit the uh, paper fasteners. Um, try and get hold of the uh, two centimetre ones, so they've got the longer legs. So it's easier to, um, for pupils to bend the legs over at the back. Um, you could also use, these are called paper binders. Um, the, these are a bit thicker, um, they'll probably need some pliers or screwdriver to help them bend the legs over, because the legs are, are uh, tougher to bend over. But I'm going to use paper fasteners, and we'll push all the paper fasteners in. go. Well worth making those um, holes before. Makes this job much easier. And uh, you can have um, quite an interesting time coming up with sets of questions and answers. It could be, uh, it could be pictures, it could be flags and which country they come from could be um, um, animals, which country they come from. Um, so there's the um, 16 terminals. Uh, we're now going to turn the board over and we're going to start connecting up these terminals in pairs. Um, so we're going to use some uh, electrical wire and um, it's really useful if you've got a pair of automatic wire strippers to do this. And we, we strip the end of the wire about two centimetres 
and choose a terminal, it can be any one, and wrap the wire around and bend the legs over. And I like to give it a little tap with a hammer to make a really good connection. Now we choose um, a terminal on the other side, it can be anywhere. Try and avoid going straight across because I think that would be uh, too easy for them to guess the answer. So I think I'm going to go down to here, strip the wire again, wrap the bare end of the wire around the paper fastener's legs, bend the legs over and tap it on. And then continue doing that until you've got um, all of the paper fasteners connected together in pairs. Here we are, we've got um, all the paper fasteners now are connected by wires. Um, the next thing to do is to um, install the buzzer. When you get the right answer, um, a, a buzzer is going to sound. Um, you could also use a light bulb so that when you get the right answer the bulb lights up. So I'm going to use a buzzer and we're just going to glue that to the top of the quiz board here. Just going to use a, a glue gun to glue that on. Here we are. And we need to pass the wires um, to the back of the uh, quiz board. So I'm just going to make two more holes. I've got a sponge block behind here to push into. And I'm just going to pass the wires back through. Now you may notice that the buzzer has got a red wire and a black wire. There is a reason for that. Buzzers uh, are what's known as polarity conscious. Uh, they will only work if you connect them the right way round. This is a 3 volt buzzer, so we're going to use um, a double battery holder. These are double A batteries in a twin holder, so we've got 3 volts. And if we connect it the wrong way round, it won't work. But if we get the red wire going to the plus, it will work. Um, next thing we're going to do is to fit the battery holder with um, a connector. So we clip this on. Make sure these two wires don't touch each other. And I'm going to glue the battery holder down on that, in that space there. Let me glue that down in that position. Okay, we're going to start to build the circuit now, and the first thing that we do is we join the two red wires together. So cross the ends over and twist them together. Okay, um, if I was making one, I wouldn't leave all these wires dangling like this. I'd get some sellotape and stick them down neatly. Next we're going to make the um, lead wires that you're going to hold onto the terminals. Um, we could use um, the same thin wire that we used uh, to connect the terminals up, but uh, I'm just going to use this slightly more flexible wire here. Uh, we need to make two more holes to pass it through from the front. We need to have one hole up in one corner and one hole in the other corner. We strip one end of the wire, tie a knot in it, this is to stop it being pulled through by enthusiastic uh, quizzes, there we are. and then pass that through the hole. As you can see, the knot will stop it being pulled through. And then we choose one of the black wires, it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose that one, it's nearest, and connect those together. And once again, if I had time, I would stick that down with um, sticky tape. Do exactly the same the other side. Strip the wire, tie a knot in it. Pass it through the hole 
and connect it to the last loose wire. Just together. And there we are. Now to check that the circuit's working, I'm going to just strip the ends of the two test wires. And when we hold them together, that should complete the circuit and the buzzer should buzz. Yes it does. Well, um, that's our quiz board almost finished. Uh, it only remains to um, tidy up these wires, stick them down with um, sticky tape. Um, and to add the um, questions. Um, I've got some questions and answers here. These are um, countries of the, of the world and uh, their capital cities. So I'm just going to get some glue here and start gluing the, the countries down on one side. There we go. Like this. You could make these um, questions and answers interchangeable so that you can put different questions up. So each country lines up with a paper fastener. Got eight countries. I think I've uh, got my capital cities mixed up with my countries here. There we are. Italy. Germany. France and Spain. Okay, so that's our eight, eight countries um, connected up. Next thing we're going to put the um, capital cities, and we need to make sure that the um, capital city um, is on the is on the paper fastener that's connected to the country. So uh, we hold the wire on Spain. And then work our way down until we find the paper fastener that's connected. Ah, there we are. That's so um, Madrid goes on that paper fastener. There we go. We just double check we've got that right. Spain, the capital of Spain is Madrid, and none of the others work. And we continue adding all the um, uh, capital cities to the corresponding paper fastener. When we've done that, got some optional extras we could do. We could um, we could add uh, crocodile clips to the ends of the wires, like I've done here. Um, to make a good job of this, if you get the crocodile clip, put it on the uh, end of the bench and push down that piece of metal that goes across there. And then that will allow you to fit the wire up inside the crocodile clip. It will then poke out and then you can undo the screw. and put it under the screw in a clockwise direction. That will ensure that when you do the screw up it will stay on. And finally another optional thing that you could do is that you could fit it with feet to protect all the wiring. In this case I'm going to use cotton reels. One in each corner. So that's our electric quiz board. All I've got to do now is to carry on adding the capital cities to the corresponding paper fasteners. So I hope you enjoy making um, electric quiz boards.